If you ever need to format your smart or Android television or to a uh, factory restore it, I mean, there are uh, good chances that you have to do it uh, because it is as good as any other smart device and it uh, has some performance issues and which can improve following a few steps. Uh, so I'll, uh, I'll walk you through the, those steps which you can follow or otherwise if ultimately you have to factory store your uh, smart or Android television, uh, I'll display exactly what you need to do for that and best practices that you need to follow. So stay tuned with me. On this uh, on, on this uh, video I would suggest you don't skip uh, the video and move on uh, in, in minutes uh, because uh, I'll be telling you exactly what needs to be done uh, before you make your mind of formatting it because once you once you decide to factory restore your uh, your appliance or your your smart television uh, you lose all the uh, I mean customization that you have done in years or in my last few months and it just becomes a new new machine. So before you do that, if you can uh, rebuild or maybe restore whatever issue uh, is there, that will that should be the first step you should be following. So in 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 this television, I mean, it, uh, I mean there can be performance issues uh, coming into your, your your smart television. It's as similar to as your laptop or your smart uh, on smartphone. With times when you install a number of smart apps. Uh, there can be there can be issues regarding that. So I have done uh, uh, reviews uh, on how you can improve the performance of your smart television or your Android television. Uh, the the link would be at the last uh, four uh, last twenty seconds. There would be uh, uh, those uh, review or uh, uh, videos displayed for you if you want to have a look. So, but if you follow all those steps that have been mentioned in that video in last twenty minutes, uh, you, uh, there's nothing else you can do. So, so first thing I would want you to see is you go to settings of your Android or your, or your smart television and what you need to do is you need to go to, to this uh, apps section here and then in that app section you should be able to see all the running apps in here and what you need to do here is let's say let's say if there is an app running uh, which is kind of slowing down your your uh, your, your smart TV you need to uh, force stop it first thing. So that will, uh, I mean, forcefully kill the application that is running. Uh, it is similar to the task manager that you have on your laptop. You do a control or delete and you go to task manager and end the task. Otherwise, you need to see how much space it is occupying. I mean, there are good chances that it is occupying a lot of space and that is why your machine is getting stuck or frozen or hanging. And in that case, you can clear cache as I'm doing it here. Uh, or maybe you can just clear the data. So clearing the data for an application, just bear in mind. Uh, for, I mean, restores the 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 application uh, to the to to as as if it is new. It is the first time. Whereas factory storing your smart television rebuilds your television and brings it back to where it was when you bought it new. So this is the first step you need to follow. If, they, if you think there is a particular application which is slowing down your laptop or uh, sorry your your television. Try to uninstall or install a force kill uh, or your that particular application. If that doesn't help, uh, unfortunately, there is nothing much that you can do. The f next thing I would recommend is you unplug your uh, your television from the socket itself. That's how you hard uh, restore it or hard stop it, and then wait for 15 seconds and then plug it back. Uh, hope 90% uh, of the times that restores the pro that resolves the problem that you have on your on your television. If that doesn't help, unfortunately, you'll have to factory restore it. So I'll just quickly uh, take you through a settings back and how you uh, factory restore your Android television or your smart television. It works for Sony. This one is a Sony Android television. It doesn't matter whether you have a Samsung smart television, LG television or Philips or whatever brand it is. Uh, there would be an option within settings which is called storage and reset. You have to get into that. Uh, just to let you know kind of uh, just to make you familiar with the kind of issue that will you'll have whenever you have a smart application updated in my case there was an android update which happened and when i go to see free view which i used to get uh used to see through it uh, um, it doesn't work for me it's a blank screen so this is this is something i've tried to uh take care of uh, but it's not working so for me the last option now is to restore this television okay so we go back to storage and reset uh, just bear in mind once you've done that it's the 
full rebuild of the application of the of the of the television you can't go back you go to factory data reset and then the hard uh, step here is to erase everything just be clear that you've taken a backup of, of all the applications all the information that you needed uh, customization steps will be customization for any particular app will be taken off you'll have to uh, relink it again to uh, wi-fi uh, follow the steps uh, if you you linking it to your gmail account or google account you'll have to do it again so okay so in this case i'm just going here it will ask you for uh, uh, again whether you really want to do that you say yes and then this is how i don't know it hasn't happened for me okay let me try again it says it is everything okay so we it is everything so this is factory data reset. I'm not sure whether it has happened or not. Okay, now it's happening. So here you see, I mean, it takes time. I mean, it doesn't accept it. It's not ready to accept that you want to restore it. But this is how you do it. Uh, and it will restart. And the, when it restarts, you'll see how it looks. Okay, this is, this is a Sony Android television. So for, I mean, hopefully this video was good enough for you. Like, subscribe and comment for similar videos. Thank you very much for your time. Bye-bye.